Hey, what's up? My name's Samuel Leeds, and in this video, I wanted to talk about the right to buy scheme. So the right to buy scheme is if you are a tenant that's living in a council house or a government owned house or a housing association and you've lived there a long time, then you may be eligible to buy the house at a discount. And a lot of people have said to me, you know, Samuel, I'm, I'm in a house and the council have told me that I've got a, a right to buy it with a discount. Is this good? Is this another one of those government schemes where there's loads of catches and I should be really careful? You know, what are your thoughts? So I'm gonna give you the pros and I'm gonna give you the cons and then I'm gonna give you my opinion and my thoughts on the right to buy scheme. So firstly, what it is exactly, uh, this was introduced in 1980 by Margaret Thatcher. So she brought it in, it was scrapped in 2016 in Scotland, it was scrapped last year, 2019 in Wales, it's been capped in Northern Ireland, so it's not quite the same. In England, it is still a thing. So here's what it is. Literally, I think you live there three years and you get a 35% discount off of an apartment that you're in. It applies to houses too, the discount's slightly less. The longer you've lived there, the more of a discount that you get. So people are coming to me and they're saying like, so I got 50%, I got 60%. I can get discounted with this house. So I've looked into it. And normally with these things, there's a lot of cons. You know, you, if you do it, then you've got this and this and this and this. Now listen, if you buy a house discounted by the council, you can't then immediately sell the house. So you've got to wait, you've got to wait five years before you can sell it and get 100% of the profit from it. And there's a sliding scale. But if you buy it at 35% discount and then immediately sell it, that discount you will have to give back. But after five years, you can sell it. Renting wise, surprisingly, you actually can buy it and then you can immediately rent the house out. As long as you've got the correct kind of mortgage, you can buy it discounted from the council and then rent it out, which is really weird because usually the government are anti you being an investor. They want you to buy somewhere and live there forever. So in terms of cons, I don't really think there's that many cons. Of course, you need to raise the money and you need to buy it and it might not be the best property in the world, but generally speaking, my advice is, this scheme is pretty good. It's pretty good. And I personally have got friends, I know people, in fact, even some of the people we've had on Winners Wednesday, like Ensay and Genevieve, mother and daughter. Um, Patricia Bright, she's been on my channel, her mom. A, a lot of people that I, that, that I know or I know of have bought properties with the right to buy and have made a lot of money off of it and have, have been really, really successful. So I don't think there's that many cons. I think it's amazing. I think if you're in a house and you have the opportunity to buy it at a, at a big discount, I would just say, go ahead and buy it. Find the money, go ahead and buy it. It's not every day that you come across a property like 40, 50% below market value. That's incredible. Just because you've lived there a few years. I mean, geez, I'm even considering moving into some council houses and staying there for a few years just for the discounts. Like, I'm kind of kidding, but like, uh, it's seriously good. Um, They've scrapped it in a lot of countries and a lot of places, and I suspect they're gonna scrap it in England soon at some point as well. So if you have the opportunity to buy it, I would say go ahead and buy it. Um, also, the government are pretty angry about this. I've seen articles where they're going nuts because they said, I'll read this. So it was said, the damning figures, <laughs> the damning figures also show that more than 40% of London council homes bought under the government's right to buy program are now rented out privately. So they're not happy. They're like the damning figures. They don't want you to buy it and rent it out. Personally, I think good for the people that bought it and rented it out. If you've managed to get the money together and buy it, then good for you and go ahead and rent it out. I, I think it's great. So my thoughts are do it, do it, do it. I wouldn't be surprised if the government scrapped the rent to buy soon and introduced lots of other schemes which are riddled with more strings attached than this one. So that's my thoughts. If you've bought a house on the right to buy scheme, let me know. I wanna know what discount you got, okay? Not, not in percentages, but in actual cash. 
How much? Because you you actually make money when you buy a house. If you buy a house for 100 grand and it's worth 150, effectively you've kind of made 50,000 pounds. Then you make money when it goes up. Then you make money when it rents out. So property is just a great way to make money and I would take advantage of this scheme. Some of the other schemes I'm not so sure of, help to buy, lifetime ISA, I don't like these, shared ownership, I don't like this. Um, I'll put a link to a playlist with all the schemes that I'm not a fan of. You can check out the playlist right here. Also, if you want to come and learn about property and how to really make money and be a professional property investor, come down to the Property Investors Crash Course. You can do that right here. And of course, please don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy the videos. Subscribe over here, turn the notification bell on, and I look forward to seeing you next time.